Today on Verse Spirits and Gear, we check out the 2555X Silver Jubilee reissue from Marshall. Have you ever really, really been into a band a long time ago and then you kind of rediscover that band and all of the things and all of the music that they have put out since the last time you were really, really into them? That's recently happened to me with Bad Religion. I was just obsessed with Bad Religion in the late 90s and I loved, you know, all the albums up to about the No Substance album. That really was not for me at all. And after that, I was into the process of belief and then I just, you know, busy, I had a daughter and then I just, you know, I've always loved Bad Religion, but I've recently rediscovered basically their entire catalog everything and I've been doing a deep dive on all of it and it's just so great and I've been really obsessed with Brian Baker's guitar tone both live and in the studio and just the overall Bad Religion guitar tones as a whole. Now I've seen Bad Religion many many times live and Brian Baker always sounded amazing and while he's played just about every Marshall Under the Sun my favorite tone of his is when he was playing Silver Jubilees a pair of them for most of the 2000s and you know what I decided to just pull the trigger and buy one and I bought this black one from Sweetwater not knowing that this seems to be uh, some sort of limited edition exclusive to Sweetwater in the United States and Andertons in the UK other than that outside of those two uh, businesses I haven't been able to find the blacked out Silver Jubilee that I have. And I only got it because it happened to be in stock at the time. Now, many of you are thinking, yeah, but Fluff, you have, you know, a JCM 800 and a Freeman Butter Slacks. Well, I sold the 800 because I have the Butter Slacks. And the Butter Slacks is a glorified multi-channel JCM 800 for all intents and purposes. I didn't really feel like I needed two JCM 800s. The Silver Jubilee is not an 800. Yes, it is based on the 800. The clipping is different. Uh, the overall voicing of the amplifier is different. This is a little smoother, less spiky top end. Also, this is a little bit more mid-range scooped, I would say, uh, compared to the 800, at least my 85-800 that I used to have. This is what I always wanted my 800 to sound like. And I didn't know it until I plugged into the Silver Jubilee, which is just an incredible, incredible amp. So I am not a Silver Jubilee expert, however, I can tell you that the newer reissues have upgraded internal wiring and particular favorite of mine is an external bias point and bias adjustments for the power tubes. You don't have to pull the chassis, which is just incredible. I really, really love that. So in honor of my love of the Silver Jubilee and Bad Religion, I'm gonna go ahead and cover a short part of one of my favorite Bad Religion songs, American Jesus, using the Silver Jubilee in a mix. And then we're gonna come back and we're gonna do a little bit of a playthrough. So let's go ahead and do a mix. Now for the playthrough, I'm going to switch out the Les Paul Gold Top that I was playing for the for the full mix, and I'm going to grab my 60s standard Gibson Les Paul that is bone stock, all stock configuration, stock pickup, stock everything, and E standard, and I'm going to be plugging straight into the Silver Jubilee and just kind of twisting some knobs, and I will be engaging the additional clipping, the push-pull on the far right, and then you will also see me engage the clean tone with the master volume, which is a push-pull as well. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a playthrough.
So what do I think? Honestly, I feel like I'm super, super late to a really, really good party. And I am, admittedly. The Silver Jubilee was not ever really on my radar as far as amplifiers go. Obviously the 800 is, uh, obviously, you know, the, the Plexi, the 1959 Marshall was always on my radar, classic, you know, tones from, you know, bands like Green Day amongst many others. However, the Silver Jubilee was not something I ever really gave much thought to. And I'm really sad I didn't sooner. I am absolutely in love with this amplifier. Um, and it's only, uh, and I say only, it's a lot of money. Uh, it's $2,000. Now compare this to something like the JCM 800, which is a single channel amp that is like 800 more dollars for its new reissue. This is a really good comparative deal. The, the hand wired Plexi is I think $3,700. This is 2000 bucks and honestly, uh, it's worth every penny and you know exactly where your money went when you plug into this amplifier. It just gives you that really classic Marshall tone with gain to spare, which is nice to have on a Marshall. All applicable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you. And then in turn, you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well, if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.